Hey everybody, I'm gonna try to help you out with the uh, MIDI changing with the um, with the Hughes and Kettner. Um, how I got it set up. I uh, hope this helps you. As you can see here, I got um, clean. Uh, I got crunch set up. Lead. Uh, amp boost on and off toggle. And uh, over here, I have a uh, power soak. Um, this is a Grand Me Grand Meister 36, so some of the MIDI channels might be a little bit different than for the Tube Meister, but um, it should be set up the same. Uh, pretty much, you gotta go uh, MIDI MIDI out of your board, obviously, to the uh, MIDI in on the uh, MIDI in on the on the amp. And um, basically, if you see here, when you hit the clean, like I had this set up already. But you can see the the MIDI assignments here that I, how I have it set up, and basically the clean crunch and lead that I have set up here, um, they do bank change, uh, uh, not bank changes, but uh, preset changes. Because uh, on the Grandmeister you have 128 presets you can use. Um, you could also set it up to not do presets and switch between the three different channels. But not using presets within the, within the same preset change the channels the same way I have the amp boost here is uh, is is actually an amp boost it's not changing the it's not changing the preset on here so whether I'm in lead or crunch um, I could just turn the amp boost on and off and the same thing with the the power soak I go from 36 to 5 to 18 it's on 36 by default. But if I want to go to 5 or 18, I could do that here. Um, so here, just to show you, the amp boost is the only one that's set up different. It's set up to CC toggle. Uh, I was For all of these, I usually have MIDI channel 1. And um, the CC value is how you know what parameter you're, you're actually controlling. And the 0 is a off. And the and the um, 127 is uh, is on. So when I toggle between amp boost, when this is when you click it like this, it goes zero. When you click it like that, it goes 127. And obviously, you can uh, label all these. But yeah, just to show you, this is um, the bank change. So this is um, bank program. If you if you want to do it that way, but there's a different way to do it. I'll, I'll try to send you the link for the. I'll look up the MIDI channels for your um, Tube Meister. But this is to get to this screen. We'll set we'll set this up new over here. Okay, so say I want to set this one up for um, um, for MIDI control. So what you have to do is actually hit this button here and uh, go to the foot. Uh, Controller sign. Oh, oh, probably wrong about that. Command center. Sorry. All right. So from this screen, the command center is where you can set up your mini, and you just tap. Well, actually, no, I'm, I'm lying. Sorry, it's been a while since I set this up, but I use this little knob over here to go to the one I want, which is this one right here. So then I'll change CC to, let's see. And this is the stuff you're gonna have to look up for the Tube Meister. I, I have some some stuff I'll, I'll post that um, might help you out, like educate you on the MIDI stuff, because I just basically learned about this when I was trying to do this, but and I'm not a pro at it, but I was able to kind of get this stuff going. So then I usually have MIDI channel to one, and then, um, and that's the thing you got to figure out what to what you want to set here. So um, I'll put it to 36. I don't know what, what's on here, but okay. And then uh, and then it automatically assigns it with something. So then I'll uh, hit customize. That way I can label it. Uh, 
Do, 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 do. Come in. Uh, you want to change the color? You can change the color here. Red. Hit OK. And now I got clean. The other thing I noticed with the MIDI program changes, it you won't get it to go bright. It'll go bright momentarily while it's changing. So even though I labeled it clean, this channel has a lead with a boost on it. You know, like I said, I have 128 presets, and I have to make a list. But you could keep it simpler. And just find out what the MIDI channels are to change from clean, crunch, lead, and ultra. Um, I, like I said, I have links for that. Uh, if you go to the Hughes and Kettner um, uh, website, uh, they have a they have a whole bunch of blogs and stuff about this stuff. Um, but this is basically how you the command center is where all the magic happens for the MIDI. So in here and even up here. If you wanted a certain preset to load automatically when you hit, when you go to it, if you want a MIDI signal to send out automatically. So if I um, were to go to uh, a certain preset, um, when I go to it, this, um, when I go with when anything that's up here will send automatic MIDI signals. So whatever you have plugged into the MIDI. Um, so if you wanted to go to a clean on a certain song, on a certain preset on your Helix, you could set this up to send a signal automatically to go to clean. And uh, that way when you, at the start of the song, if you need a clean sound, you, you know it's already there. You won't have to hit this clean. Or if you want to do multiple, like say I'm on lead and I want to, I want to make even though I'm on lead, when I switch to the fuzz, maybe I want this to also, I want, it, when I click this, I want it to automatically be clean as well. So you can do that. You can also MIDI assign on multiple um, foot switches. So, because you probably don't want a um, lead sound with fuzz. So if you want it to go clean on that, and uh, even if you turned it off, and then you can just go back to lead. But when you clicked it on, it would automatically go to clean, no matter what. And you can also do that just as a safeguard, so you won't have to tap dance. You can set these two fuzzes so that when you click them, you go to clean. The only thing is when you turn them off, you're still turning it back to clean, but then you know you just only have to hit this once. You know, say you have it on, it's clean, industrial fuzz, turn it off and go lead or maybe more crunch. Okay, um, hopefully this is kind of helpful. I'll make another one. If you have any questions, I'll try to, I'm not the best at explaining stuff, but um, yeah, hopefully this helps you. There is other MIDI stuff you can do on here. Um, no, uh, I'm not too sure about that one. Oh, momentary, I guess you can do, you can do momentary stuff here, but I haven't figured out how to work that. The CC toggle, like I said, is uh, for amp boost. If you want to toggle between uh, on and off. And um, this also, let me show you the setting I have for this. So um, this is for the Power Silk channel. And this probably gets a little, this is where it gets confusing. But CC toggle, MIDI channel one. So 30 is the channel that controls the Power Silks. So since there's four power silks, you do four divided into 128, because there's 128 channels in this 30. I know I'm not good at math, but so the first 36 are five watt, the next 36 may be 18 watt, and the next 36 after that will be um, the 36. So this one I have the dim value, which is when it's dim right now, would be five watts. So I have that set to 52. The lit value is 18 watt. 
but I'll have all these set to 36 watt. So they automatically, when I click these, they're 36 watt. Let's say I wanna do a 36 watt and then I wanna go, I want my crunch and I wanna go a five watt. I believe I missed something up here. Oh, there we go. So you, you can do all types of things with this. So basically you can control almost every aspect of your amp with this and uh, you could do this with the pod HD as well but um, you couldn't really you know these little scribble scripts make uh, make everything a lot easier to do but this was possible with the the pod HD 500x as well but this is nice so that you, actually, you don't have to guess you know on each preset what you're doing you'll have it labeled for you so um, that's it